Hey Sojourners, welcome to Guideposts. These are brief educational videos to help you on your caregiving journey. In this first series, I plan to share some of the lessons I learned along the way with the hope that this Camino wisdom will help you on your journey. Back in September of 2017, Cynthia asked if I wanted to walk the Camino de Santiago with her, and I immediately said yes. And one year and one day later, we left on our journey, walking 400 miles over 31 days through northern Spain along the way. But long before we got on a plane, we had begun to prepare. We bought a guidebook and studied the map. We started buying the equipment and the supplies we would need. We talked to people who had done it before and learned some really practical tips and a lot of helpful advice. And then we started training, walking several times a week, multiple miles, several times a week. We were really prepared as best we could from a distance until we started walking because no one can really prepare you for the journey. The physical, psychological, and emotional toll of walking day after day after day. And so it's the same for the family caregiver. Most caregivers understand that they've got a lot to learn about how to care for their loved one, and they're ready for the added responsibilities of being a caregiver. They think they're prepared for the walk until they start and realize that they're not because you really can't prepare for the physical, psychological, and emotional toll of caring for someone who's becoming increasingly dependent. The stress, the worry, the anger, the sadness, and the guilt catch many family caregivers by surprise. Now for Cynthia and I, our preparation really did help, and without it, our journey would have been so much harder. We met many pilgrims who had not prepared and saw them suffer needlessly. They had really underestimated just how difficult a simple walk through the woods could be. But they quickly learned what they needed to know and do, and their journey got easier. Most families never really take the time to plan and prepare for their caregiving journey. Either they didn't realize they were a family caregiver until long into the process, or believe that there just wasn't a lot to know or do ahead of time. But just like my fellow pilgrims, it's never too late to prepare. So if you're just starting out or you're already well on your way, you can always take the time to learn what you need to know and the things you need to do. Find your map, the guidebook. Talk to other caregivers who've done this walk already. There are lots of free resources and expert help available. I intentionally created Caregiver School to be a complete guide for the family caregiver, and the worksheets are the maps to follow along the way. The free audio podcast version is available on all podcast platforms. Just search for Caregiver School. It's also available in a print version for purchase. But either way, the Caregiver School program has everything you need to know for your caregiving journey. Being a family caregiver is stressful enough. Don't make it any harder for yourself by not being prepared. So until next time, remember to take care of yourself and know that there is help for the journey.